Mello Mechanic here. This video is going to be on the steering of my cargo bike here. Now I have another video describing um, more detail about the cargo bike and you can click here and, uh, and it'll take you there. But, uh, but this video we're specifically going to talk about the steering. Now I mentioned in the other video that this bike has hydraulic steering. Now what is hydraulic steering? Now if you see, if I turn the handlebars, the front wheel moves, which is exactly what you want. And the way I've accomplished that is you could see one of them up front here is there's a hydraulic cylinder up front that is connected to the frame back here and then to the front fork there. So as I move this, that cylinder moves in and out. And there's another one down below here. Now let's flip the bike on its side and I will show you that. All right, I got the bike flipped on its side and you can see the other cylinder here. Uh, it is connected via a rod. So the handlebars are right there. Steering rod comes down here to this lever arm. The lever arm is connected to this hydraulic cylinder. Now, if you notice, this one is pointing towards the back. So it's one pointed this way and this one is pointed that way. Okay, that's important. So, how this works, this cylinder and the one up front are identical. So they have the same travel, they have the same bore, okay? So this port is connected to the exact same port on the front cylinder. So that would be this port right here. And then this port on the back of the cylinder is connected to the back port on this cylinder right here. And these features right here are how you bleed them. So I have two there and two here. And the way you bleed that is the same way you would bleed your disc brakes. So you have a little syringe that screws in here. You get all the bubbles out and you seal it. So there is no, say, reservoir. Everything is enclosed in this cylinder, the lines, and that cylinder. And how this works, so you have a cylinder with a piston in the middle and you have a defined volume of fluid on this side and a defined volume of fluid on this side. So as this cylinder moves out like this, the fluid that's in here gets displaced and moves into this hose, which travels up here and comes into this hose and moves this cylinder back. So this fills this volume as this volume is being evacuated. Well, as this moves forward and displaces this, it draws fluid in behind it, which comes out of this side. And the important thing is these are identical. This probably wouldn't work or wouldn't work as well with two different size cylinders or different length strokes. So if I move this one an inch, that one moves an inch. So basically I'm displacing the exact same amount of fluid here as I am here. And because the diameter of the cylinders are the same, the force is the same. And I could probably increase the force by a different diameter, but then my travels, I'd have to figure out the travel movement on that. So I stuck with the same, uh, the same size. Uh, what you could do, what a lot of guys have done, is you run a rod from here and then you bend it up and then out and then back and connect it to the fork. I did that. I didn't like it. It tended to swing. So that's why I went with this hydraulic system. An advantage to the hydraulic system is all you have to do is connect these lines. The orientation of these cylinders can be anywhere you want them. So let's say I was on a recumbent. And I could put my steering right here, like I have it here. And then I can put, mount that one, you know, 90 degrees to it. And then that'll actuate my front wheels on my recumbent bike. Say it was a, a tadpole recumbent, I could do it that way. Uh, or anything else I wanted to remotely move. This is a great system, uh, maintenance free. There's no power required. Uh, really, there's nothing you have to do. It is just, you move this and it moves that back and forth just like that. 
And being on a steering, the fluid in here dampens the movement just ever so much. So it really runs smooth. Um, you evacuate all the air bubbles so there's no squish at it inside at all. And it works very, very well. It's been on this bike uh, years, probably four years now. A uh, modification I did do is I put this bellows on the front and that keeps all of the dirt and grime from kicking up off the wheel and getting on this shaft right here and that'll wear out that bearing or the bushing that's in there and then it'll start to leak but if you keep it clean keep this bellows on it uh, it works very well so anyway that's how the steering works and i uh, hope you like this video